In today's video, we're going over the Acorns app and taxes. We'll be covering how to know if you owe taxes on your Acorns investments, where to retrieve your Acorns tax forms, and we'll also be discussing how you can import your Acorns tax information directly into TurboTax. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric of Everyday Investing, and on this channel, we're all about investing and personal finance for the everyday investor. So if you're new here today, Definitely feel free to subscribe and hit that bell notification down below to catch future tutorial videos just like this one. Today we are talking about the Acorns app and taxes. Before I get started, I do want to first mention guys that I am not a tax professional, so if you need any legal tax advice regarding your investments, as always consult with your CPA, your accountant, or your tax professional. They can help you further in that department. I just wanted to make a brief video today covering how to know if you owe taxes on your Acorns investments and where to retrieve your forms, as well as how you can import that information directly into TurboTax. So it is now that time of year, it is tax time, and you may be wondering, do I owe taxes on my Acorns investments? Well, the answer is it depends. You may owe taxes on your Acorns investments if any of the following reasons occurred. Firstly, if you made any profits buying and selling stocks on your Acorns portfolio, you will have to pay taxes on those profits you made. Secondly, if you made any dividend income from your investments, for example, if any of your investments in your Acorns portfolio paid you dividends throughout the year, you will have to pay taxes on those dividends just the same. And thirdly, if you made any interest on the cash sitting in your investment account, you will have to pay taxes on that interest you made, just like you would on interest you made at a bank account. Also, I do wanna mention if you experienced any losses from your Acorns investments throughout the year, you can actually deduct those losses on your taxes as well. But don't worry guys, if you didn't track all this, it's perfectly fine because Acorns and pretty much all investment platforms track all this for you throughout the year and every year around tax time, they give you a 1099 tax form and that summarizes all your transactions, all your dividends, all your interest, all your profits you made into one condensed uh, PDF file which you can give to your tax accountant or you can import that information directly in TurboTax. So what is the 1099 tax form? Well, the 1099 tax form is typically your most common tax form you'll receive from investment brokerages come tax time. And the 1099 is typically made up of four different components. Firstly, you have the 1099B, and this stands for brokerage transactions. Basically, any profits or losses you made throughout the year from buying and selling stock on the Acorns app. Secondly, you have the 1099DIV, this stands for dividends. This is if you received any dividend income from your stocks or your portfolio throughout the year. Thirdly, you have the 1099INT, and this basically means interest. This will summarize if you received any interest from cash sitting in your Acorns account. And fourthly, but the least common, is called the 1099 MISC. This stands for miscellaneous. This is if you received any miscellaneous income from Acorns throughout the year. But again, guys, you don't have to worry about the different variations of the 1099 tax form so much because it's all condensed for you into a single 1099 tax form. So now that you know if you owe taxes on your Acorns investments, I'm going to show you where you can actually retrieve your Acorns tax forms on both the Acorns app and the Acorns website. Now to get started, you're going to have to hop on over to the Acorns website, acorns.com, and log into your account there because you can't retrieve the Acorns tax forms through the Acorns app. So you have to go to the website first, and you'll see the layout is fairly similar to the Acorns app. It's just a little more spread out. But once you're in here on the homepage of the website, you want to go down to where it says Documents and click on Documents and Statements. Once you open up that, that'll open up all your statements from your Acorns history. What you wanna do from here is go to where it says statements and click that little drop down arrow and click on tax reports. So this will open up all the tax reports necessary to file your taxes. So from here, what you wanna do is download your tax forms. So whether you have one or two, you wanna click on that little download button on the right hand side. So now it will download your tax forms in a PDF file and you have two options from here. You can either print out this PDF and hand it to your tax accountant. If you go to a tax professional, They'll know exactly what to do with this information. The form has all the information the tax accountant needs. And the second option is if you use a software like TurboTax, you can actually manually type in all the information you need in a TurboTax straight from this form. Or you can also import all the information automatically. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, if you use TurboTax, you can actually import your Acorns tax information directly into TurboTax. However, because I'm not a tax professional, I'm not going to walk you through the exact steps on how to enter your tax information, but I will give you a brief overview. Essentially, inside TurboTax, you're going to want to go to the Income and Expenses area. Once you're inside here, you'll see a section that says Let's Get Your Tax Info, where you can import any information from banks and brokerages. So because we're doing the Acorns Investment app, all you have to do is type in Acorns. You'll see Acorns pop up. So go ahead and click on Acorns. Once you click on Acorns, you simply have to enter your Acorns account number and your document ID. Again, this information, the account number and the document ID, 
can be found on that PDF you downloaded either from the Acorns app or the Acorns website. Once you enter that information, you then simply have to click on Get My Form and your Acorns Tax 1099 forms will be automatically imported into TurboTax. You don't have to do any more work. However, if you don't feel comfortable typing in your Acorns account number directly into TurboTax, you can skip this step and instead choose I'll type it in myself. Now this process will take longer because it will not import it. Instead, you're manually entering in all the information from your 1099 PDF tax forms. So you do have two options. You could either manually type in the information or you could have TurboTax import it for you from Acorns, depending on your preference. And that is how you retrieve your Acorns tax forms. Again, guys, like I said, once you have your Acorns tax forms, you have two options. You could either print out that PDF, hand it to your tax professional, they'll know exactly what to do from there. The other option is if you use TurboTax like I do, you can actually import all your Acorns tax information directly in a TurboTax like I showed you through the TurboTax website. If you guys would like to learn how to retrieve your tax forms on other popular investing apps such as the Stash app, the Robinhood app, or the M1 Finance app, definitely feel free to check out my tutorial videos of those right over there to the right. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I will catch you all in the next video on Everyday Investing.